Welcome back. I'm Monica, Recreation Coordinator for the City of Los Angeles Department of Rec and Parks. Welcome to Rec Connect LA, where we bring the parks to you. Today, I'm with Channel 35 and we'll be teaching a chair circuit workout. For class, you'll need a sturdy chair, a set of dumbbells, optional resistance bands, water, towel. And if you have a slam ball, regular ball, a light weighted ball, grab that as well. Let's start off with a march in place. Nice and tall, shoulders relaxed and roll back, squeezing those abdominals in. Inhale up, reach. Exhale, open up, two more. Length of the spine, breathe and reach. Exhale, relax. One more, nice and tall, reach. You're gonna walk the legs, feet out, bringing the arm across that body, across that chest, toe tap here. Think about lengthening through the spine, engaging through those obliques. Breathe. Working off time, not reps, so you can definitely pace yourselves as needed. If you need to kick it up, push. If you need to take it down, that's perfectly fine. As long as you're here, you're getting it in, right? Back to that march, big movement, opposite hand, opposite leg. Increasing that range of motion, bring those knees up past those hips. In five seconds, you're gonna keep the same range pick up the pace. Nice work. Big movement with the arms. Hit biceps and triceps. Full range here. You got it. Come on. Give me about 10 more seconds. Then we'll go into squats. Sitting all the way down. Back into that chair. Coming all the way up. So adjust as needed. Sitting back. Checking in with your stance. That knee and ankle is aligned. So as you come up. Reach for the stars, sit back down. Cleansing breath, inhale, exhale at the top. We're here for about one minute. 30 seconds in, we'll switch up and go into a calf race. Now, as you come up, keep your knees slightly bent. Do not lock out in the joints. If you'd like, you don't even have to sit back into that chair. So you're gonna come up and go into a squat position. So squat, pause, hold, right? All the way up, squat, pause, hold. Lengthen and reach, you got it. Now, adding that calf raise, 30 seconds here. You got it. Bracing to that core, abs are nice and tight. Glutes, abs, in, you got it. Give me four more reps. Four, taking that time. Feel the legs, the core work, last two. We're gonna go into a quick beat. Stay seated, you're here. Moving as fast as you can, you hear those drums? Catch the beat, you got it, come on. 40 seconds, all out. Need to take a break, take it right back in as fast as you can, come on. 20 seconds here, push. So I should see you, not hear you. So you're landing, you're tapping softly. Regardless if you're sitting in that chair, or if you're standing up. Last few seconds, breathing into the nose, exhale to the mouth, tightening up that core, abs engaged. Slowing it down, deep inhale up. Exhale forward, fold. Roll up. Again, nice and tall. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Roll it up. Good job. So we're gonna grab our weights, our dumbbells. Not the X's. We're gonna hit biceps and triceps. 30, 30, one round. Now, options. If you don't have access to dumbbells, you could definitely use water bottles that are filled or canned goods. So option here, single arm or you're gonna do both at the same time. Breathe with me here, exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, keeping the arms, elbows in close to that body, your legs, your hips. A few more reps, we're gonna go into triceps, and then we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go right back to cardio. Good job, last one here. Breathe. So options on the triceps. Easier using your own dumbbells, it might be one or two more difficult if you do tricep dips. So this would be option one. 
need a challenge, lift yourself up. Lift yourself down. Hips butt back close to that chair, elbows in and back. Down and up, walk those feet out a bit. 30 seconds here, see about 15, 20 seconds to go. Take your time, slow on your way down, slow on your way up. You got it, exhaling as you lift. Exhaling if you're rocking those weights on that extension. Give me four more, come on. Really breathe and squeeze the back of those arms and abs. Last two, you got it, come on. We're gonna go into a seated jack. So you're here, scoop back. Flex your options. If you wanna stay seated, you can stay seated. If you wanna take it up, walk forward a bit, side tap. If you're feeling extra fit, lots of energy, go into a full jumping jack by adding that jump, right? So you're here for about 45 seconds. Simplest form is just adding that side tap. So you have at least a handful of options. Let's go. Work it out. We're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go into sumo squats, slow control with the calf raise, utilizing your chair just for assistance. Pick it up here. Arm movement, big. No mo arm movement at all. Hands could be center, whatever is so comfortable for you here, right? Cleansing breath, last few seconds. Kick it up. Breathe with me here. Into the nose, exhale through the mouth. Let's get that cardio up. Excellent for that heart. Slowing it down, deep inhale up. Look at those fingers, toes, exhale, relax. So you're gonna carefully come up. Make sure your space area is clear. I'm gonna move my chair so you can see my form. You wanna use the back part of your chair for assistance here. Get in nice and close to your chair, toes, knees out. You're gonna come down as far as you can, hinge from the hips, butt back. So roughly at about a 90. Come up, tippy toes. So we're here for about one minute. Take your time as you push off and lift those heels up. Check in to make sure your knees are slightly bent. You don't want to lock out. Torso upright, hips butt back. So make sure you're not leaning into that chair. Yeah? Take your time. The next round on the sumo squats, we're going to do the calf raise at the bottom. Right now, you're just giving me the calf raise at the top. Less than 20 seconds. We're gonna work our back, utilizing either your dumbbells or resistance bands if you have them close by. I'm gonna demonstrate with the resistance bands, but feel free to switch it up. Two more reps, you got it, come on. Feel the work, strong legs, year round. Oh yeah, come on, excellent. Bring it in, shake it out. So we'll work back, and then we'll tap, tap. Make sure you like and share. Tap right back into cardio. So this side, if you have multiple bands, you probably want to go heavier. I'm going to show you both ways with the band. If you want to stay seated, okay? We're going to alternate for 30 seconds. The wider your leg stance, the more difficult it is. You're gonna draw that elbow back. Now, if you wanna do this standing up, it might be a little bit easier. You definitely can use that chair for support. Hinge from the hips. Draw the elbow up. So same stance with the rows. Tabletop, back is flat. In 30 seconds, we'll switch sides. Now, if this is easy, you can handle more weight. If you have dumbbells, you can definitely double up on your weight, walk your feet out, or adjust your bands and go heavier if you have access to heavier bands. Use your back to lift. Really squeeze the upper back shoulder blades here.
Squeeze at the top. You got it, come on. One more rep, take your time. Good work. Other side. Oh, we should be doing the pango walk. We might do that later. Set up, keeping that same resistance. If you're rocking that band. Yes, 30 seconds. Making that muscle, belly butt to spine. Excelling here, you got it, come on. On that cardio coming up, options. You're gonna stay up or you can have a seat. Last few seconds, ready, ready. Come on, breathe. Two, give me one more, one more. Really squeeze, good job. If you need to have a seat to remove that band or use that arm rest, you can. Seated run, big movement, or you're up. Knees up, big move. Flex your options. You're here for about 40 seconds. Let's go. Knees up, past those hips. Hip mobility, focusing a bit more on the lower part of those abdominals. And cardio, you got a lot going on. Last 20 seconds, pick up that pace. Move those arms, you got it, come on. Last few seconds, you're almost there. We're gonna go right back to those weights. You're gonna have a different option here, shake it out. If you're up, please have a seat. If you have a ball, it could be any kind of ball. Feel free to grab it now. If you don't, that's fine. I'm gonna demonstrate with your dumbbell or no weight at all. So you're gonna come forward, back, tap, right? Chest, shoulders, abs, yeah. Lift, push that weight, that ball forward and tap. So that tap works the abdominals. Round that back just a little bit on your way down. Belly button to that spine. As you push forward, chest, hello shoulders. You're focusing more on that neutral position. Back is flat. Keep rocking, keep pushing, keep moving. Dumbbell, yeah. Keep it up, come on. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It's difficult to lift that weight, to lift that ball. That is when you wanna exhale. Crunch down, squeeze in, breathe out. You got it, less than 30 seconds. Slow controlled here. Strong all the way through. Racing to that core. You got it. So we just did back, working chest right here. Quick feet coming up. Give me one more rep. Woo! Yeah. Roll that ball off to the side, out of your way. Quick feet, seated. We did earlier in the warm up, right? So we're here, or you're here. Not even lifting the feet up. Quick feet as fast as you can. 45 seconds. If you want to start off standing, stand up with me here. At that point where you want to stop and take a break. If you can keep pushing forward, have a seat. Continue the footwork. You got it, come on. So it's just taking it down without stopping. Come on. Fast, fast, fast. Kick it up, push. Can't wait to hit those sumo squats again. Full body, leg focus, tapping into calves. Slow it down, good job, inhale up. Bring those fingers, toes, high five, all around. Woo! So set up, going behind that chair. Feel free to practice a few. Check in, watch what I'm doing. 
Look at that calf raise. That calf raise is up at the bottom of that squat. So you're here. All the way down. Nice and tall, right? So start off here, maybe doing this for a couple of rounds. Calf raise at the bottom. Oh yeah. You got it. Squeeze. Take your time. Are your knees slightly bent at the top? Is your leg stance, your foot nice and even here? You don't have your right leg too far back. I even have to check in and assess with myself here. Are you leaning too much into your chair? Check in, assessed. If you're good, thumbs up, like, come on. Last few seconds. Breath work. When are you exhaling? So as you calm down, stretch out those glutes. As you come up, exhale. Squeeze those inner thighs and glutes. Yep. Two more reps. Take your time. Cardio coming up. Ready, ready. Excellent work. Shake it out. Now's a great time to towel off if you need to. Stay hydrated with me here. Spread out and scat down. So it's almost of a, a seated jack, but you're bending the knees a whole lot. We're gonna jump out and jump in. Okay? Out and in. So move anything that might be in your way. All out. 45 seconds. Chest is lifted. Lean back. Abs are in tight. Now, if you're feeling this, you definitely can clap it out if you like. Focus here on pace. You want to kick it up a bit so that you are feeling challenged and you're elevating that heart rate. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give me about 20 seconds here. Keep it up. We're going to go right back to those bands. If you don't have them, that's fine. Dumbbells will work just fine. Push and breathe. You got it. Come on. Last few seconds. Breathe. Two. Slow it down. Deep and hell up. Legs are closed. Forward fold. Relax. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Slow. Again. Hell up going to go back to those rows. You're going to stay seated or make your way up. Feel free to adjust. If you want to switch up to your dumbbells, you're welcome to. If you're good on that band, then rock that band. I'm always going to say if you're able to lift a little bit heavier while maintaining good form and technique, it's going to be the weights for me. Okay? So, if you are doubling up, or maybe you're just using one weight, you're gonna go into a nice lunge position. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Working against gravity. 30 seconds a piece, so you're here for 30. Head and neck aligned with the spine. Watch for a couple of seconds and then dive right in on these rows. If it helps, say it with me here. I am stronger with every rep. Oh, yeah. I am stronger with every rep. Two more here. I don't know about you. I know I'm going to glow later because I'm sweating right now. Hit the switches. Set up. How long? Quick 30 in and out. Really squeeze at the top. Head and neck aligned. Working against gravity chest towards that floor, hand on that chair just for support, don't lean. Check in with that head. Are you dropping that chin? Lift up just a tad, gaze slightly ahead and slightly, slightly in front of you here. Really squeeze, wrapping up. You have about 10 seconds. Two more reps. Oh, yeah. So flex your options. Have a seat. 
Are you going to use one dumbbell? If you're rocking a little on the lighter, if you're able to hold both without sacrificing form or technique, step it up. We're going to hit those sumos once again. So once we get into the chest, ab, tap right back into cardio, we're going to hit that sumo. Cab raise at the top, cab raise at the bottom. Let's go. One minute. You got this. Can you do this without any weight at all? Of course you can, but you really have to squeeze. You're gonna be able to extend a little bit more. Elbow stays slightly bent. Your wrist is straight. Really flex, make that muscle. In other words, you're posing, engaging, squeezing. You got it. Wrap up. Last 10. Woo. You got it, come on. We're gonna hit those Vegas kicks. Shadow punches, solid minute cardio. Hitting legs. One more rep. Woo, angle. Good job. Ball out of your way, waist out of your way. Opposite hand, opposite legs, support it or back if you need to. We're gonna extend. One minute. Lean back. Lower back is flat. Exhale. While keeping your elbows knees slightly bent, stretch and reach. As far as you can. If you're not at that point where you can tap those toes, don't worry about it. It might be on the knees. That's fine. Add a bit more rotation through your torso, hitting those obliques. Look to the side. You got it, come on. Keep the pace. If you can hear the music, you're on the beat. See, no judgment. Pick it up. Woo! You got this. 10 more seconds. Let me hear you breathe. Really squeeze, slowing it down. Ooh. Yeah. Good job, you can hold up. Exhale, push out one more. Finishing off here. That sumo is part of your cool down. Good job, make your way up. Anything that's in your way, move it out of your way. Oh yeah, set up. So you definitely can start and then jump right in on those calf raises. Nice and close to your chair. Now if you can go a little bit deeper into that sumo, increasing your range of motion. Let me see it. Foundation, strong legs, strong core. Take your time. All about the quality versus quantity. Oh yeah. Hips, butt back. Looking good. Woo. Last 20 seconds. Slow, cool, oh yeah, and steady. More reps. You got this. Squeeze at the top. We're gonna hold it down. When you're ready, sit and hold. Now try not to dance. Sometimes we pulse. Just, just chill. Pretend sit. A little awkward. Legs should be burning. Legs should be working. Still breathing into the nose, exhale to the mouth. Last few seconds, take your time. As slow as you can, come up. It should still look like you're seated, but you're slowly moving on up. Oh yeah, feel it, feel it, feel it. Bring those
heels, knees up towards the hips. Hello, quads. Inhale up. Walk it in. Exhale, release. Nice and tall. Deep inhale up. Last time. Lengthen. Breathe and reach. Now, if you want to stay seated and do some stretches, you're more than welcome to. At this point, I'm going to stretch right along the side of my chair. So outer thigh glute stretch. We're going to sit into it. Chest up, hips, butt back. Opening up. Gently pressing onto that leg, that thigh. Excellent work. So keep in mind if you haven't done this before, lift and switch. Or maybe you haven't done this in a while. You're going to be sore. You definitely could do this workout a couple times a week. Release. Shake out those arms and legs. Hamstring stretch. Step it up. Why not? Simple form, you're here. Or, you're here. Hands from the hips. Fold the body in half, right? Think about lowering from the chest, not so much of that head. Carefully lower down, same stretch, other side. Carefully release, center here. Deep and hold up. We're gonna go right back to that sumo squat. You're gonna come down as far as you can, using your elbows, your triceps, to open up legs. You're here. So you're coming down as far as you can. If it's difficult, do what feels good. So you might be up here today. You might be down here. Okay. When practice, focusing on stretching a bit more on a warm body, working a bit more on mobility throughout the workouts, maybe a couple of times a week, will go a long way. You're going to come up, grab the back of those legs, chin to chest, Back stretch, shoulder stretch. Wiggle those toes, sit into it. Deep and a lot, balance challenge. Pick a side, balancing legs for those toes, bend that knee, right here. Knees together, push those hips forward, squeeze the back of those legs. Push those hips all the way towards me. Pull the stretch of those quads, oh yeah. Holding it here for just a few seconds. Carefully release. Other side, right into it. Set up. Good form. Engaging. Knees in. Concentrate. Thank those quads. Working so hard today for every kick, every extension, every squat. I don't know how many sumo squats we did today. Enough. Release. Inhale up. Palms together. Toss those hands. Drop side to side. Squeeze. Side. Squeeze. Side. One more. Deep inhale up. I appreciate you all joining me today. I look forward to seeing you soon. And remember, stay active. You rock.